It's okay, Gun. It's all right. I know I want a turtle. I hate the water turtle. Daisy, are you happy? Yes. Yeah, Harper, are you happy? I'm not happy. Gun, are you happy? No. You had the same reaction I did, bud. For us, it's the hard knock life. For us, instead of treated, we get tricks and kisses. We get tricks. It's the hard knock life. Yay! New parents are here. Hi, I'm Little Orphan Danny. You're here because you were unable to give your son the brother he's always wanted. Yes, we're having another girl. Mm, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Pretty mature for a little guy. How old are you? I'm 39. First of all, how many kids do you have? Three. And one on the way. Your poor body. <laughs> I know. Are you guys Mormons? Yes. That makes complete sense. If I'm adopted, will I have to go on a Mormon mission? That's your choice. Is it? Yeah, it's up to you. Huh. How long are those missions usually? Two years. Do I have to go to church every week? Yeah. Yes. Do I have to go to Sunday school too? Mm-hmm. Do we have to be actively involved and like do like a midweek thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you guys are killing me. You know that you can't leave Gunner alone with this new child, right? Really? You don't think he's gonna no. have no. a little mission? Do you mind if I talk to your unborn child? Sure. This is all your fault. Which one of your children is your favorite? Out of the both of us, or each? Do you have a favorite? Yeah, I like Paisley. <laughs> yeah. We have Paisley, Gunner. And Harper. Do you have a fourth name? No, we don't. I have some suggestions. Plaid. No. Come on. Paisley and Plaid? Ryder. Scallion. No. Marker. Shocker. Frito. Jax. <laughs> Definitely not. Carrot. No. no. Sterling. Mm -hmm. Hamlet. Amber sand, flat teaser, yeah. Harvey milk. No. What's the room situation at the house? Do I get my own room? No. What about bathroom? Oh, no. So I'm sharing with three girls? Yes. Yeah. Whew. In the house, what are we doing? Timeouts or spankings? Both. Are we on a budget of this house, or are you guys uh, swimming in the loot? We're on a budget. We're on oh. a budget. Yeah. Well, I'll just keep having kids. Yeah. <laughs> Before I agree to be your son for the next 24 hours, I would like to meet my new brother. OK. Can I open my eyes? Daniel, you didn't have to cover your eyes. <laughs> Mom. Ah! What's your favorite cookie? Chocolate. Chocolate chip? Oh my goodness, we're already finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> favorite movie? Meatball 2. Meatballs 2? Pretty sure that's an R-rated comedy from the 80s. Are you mad that you're having another sister? Not now. Do you have a tree house? No. We need to get a tree house. And then we can put up the sign, no girls allowed. Do you think you'll ever get married? No. Good job. <laughs> Which one of your parents do you like more? Don't answer. It's your dad, right? <laughs> but if you had to pick one to live with forever. <laughs> do you still want a brother? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. So are you brothers now? Almost. I just need you to sign a few papers, and then this will make us legal brothers for 24 hours. Just sign there and date. I just need you initial and date there. This right here, you don't need to read this. Bunch of mumbo legal jumbo, blah, 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 blah. blah. I need you to sign all of those spots. Perfect, thank you. And I need you to just maybe draw something there. <laughs> And that does it. All right, let's get out of here before they force me to sing another horrible song. Does that hurt? No. Mom! <laughs> Perfect. I don't like it. Let's go like this. Once you get past the hairspray, it's not that bad. The real mystery is why didn't the smoke detectors go off? Go ahead, we gotta check these batteries. Stick your tongue out. Is that good? <laughs> All right, so the batteries are good. Mom! Okay, keep going. Faster. <laughs> ah! Ah! Charge! <laughs> You're 
You're just now telling me you have a trampoline. Yeah. Get in there! Mom! <laughs> you like that? Yeah. I wrote, this guy farted. I don't like this at all. I am not a fan of bats. Just like that, just fly in the door a little bit, and the ceiling just falls on the floor. Mom! Gunner, are you awake? I got some secret magazines. Do you like architecture? No. Oh, I've got candy. Where do sick boats go? The dock. <laughs> like the dock. Like the doctor. Boats, where do sick boats go? They go to the dock. It's not a thinking joke. This is gonna be so fun. Get in. Oh, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. You can do it to me. You can do it to me. Oh, I'm hurt. Mom! Well, my 24 hours is up, but I do know a way that we can be brothers for life. Here, let me prick your finger. We're gonna be blood brothers. Oh my gosh. Ow. All right, we got a shake on it. Okay. Now we are blood brothers for life. Blood brothers forever. Bye, family. Bye, Bye Daniel. Bye, brother. Bye. Bye, Vlad. <laughs>the waterfront village with my friend the zombie jonathan you're looking good jonathan just got an awesome face paint job what do you think i like turtles all right you're great zombie jonathan thanks for meeting me at the fair huh get it we like turtlenecks yeah it's the best i could do jonathan if that is your real name it is do you have any pets yeah. What do you have? I have three dogs and four cats. You're like a crazy single lady. <laughs> so, how old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. How old were you when that video came out? Ten. And how fast after that video got online did it become popular? About like a week. How many people have seen that video? Do you know? Almost 18 million. Why do you think it's so popular? Because I'm funny. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah. Tell me the story about that day. I would just got done from a turtle exhibit, and then my sisters were just going to go and get their face painted, and they asked me if I wanted to, and I said, yeah. And they asked me how I wanted it, and I said, like a zombie. You had just seen a turtle exhibit. Yeah. That's in your brain. Yeah. Somebody's gonna ask you a question, I don't care if you're painted like Godzilla, you're still thinking turtles. Yeah. Who's the most famous person you've met? You. I needed that. I had a long weekend. Do you like turtles? Yeah. What do you like about them? They're just fun. <laughs> They're not fun. They really are. What's so fun about a turtle? That they have a shell and that they can put all their body parts in there. Do you think you could beat me in a race? Yeah. You could never beat me in a race. Yeah, I could. You know if we race that I'm not going to take it easy. I'm just going to blow the doors off you. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Oh! Woo! I need an aspirin. All right, Jonathan, welcome to my turtle room. This is awesome. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Yeah. I take turtles seriously. Have a seat. I got you a hat. Oh, thank you. I hope it fits. Yeah. So Yertle said, come along, turtles, now listen. I love Yertle. Dig in. Okay. It's turtle soup. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's tomato. What's your favorite Christmas song? 12 Days of Christmas. Let's sing it, but let's only sing our favorite part. 10, Ten turtle, turtle doves, nine, nine turtle, turtle doves, doves, eight turtle doves, doves, seven turtle doves, doves six turtle, turtle doves. doves. Would you like a chocolate turtle? You ever eat dog? <laughs> Cowabunga, Jonathan. <laughs> Hope you brought your appetite, dude. It's me, it's Daniel. <laughs> Welcome to our pizza lunch. I invited a few friends over. Turtle from Entourage. Get it? You know who these two are? David Schwimmer, Paul Pierce. What do they have in common? They look like turtles. <laughs> they do look like turtles. Don't eat it. Come, Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's Come go. On. Let's go. Let's go. No, 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 Yes. No. yes. Yeah. All right, the fair's tomorrow, Jonathan, and we fixed everything this time, you little turtle freak. The world wants to know, are you ready to give another shot? Yes. All right, let's get out of here. Wait. 
before I go. I have to bring this one, this one. Oh, and this one. All right, let's go. Go. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. We're back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the turtle, Jonathan. Looking good. Then you're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I like turtles. I like turtles. I like turtles. I like zombies. But you're clearly a turtle. Oh, Jonathan. Oh. It's Every day it's something new. Tomorrow he likes ducks. These fairs are rip off. That game is dumb. Give me a prize. Oh. Closed. All right, open your eyes. Ah, uh, it's fake Christmas. How old are you? 20. How old were you in that video? I was seven. Seven. How would you describe the joy you had that morning to one of your Jewish friends? I have no idea how to answer that. I mean, they will never experience that. BMW bought that video? Yeah. Got a call all of a sudden, and it was like, BMW wanted this video. How much did they pay you? A, a good amount. Over 5,000? Yeah. Over 10,000? Yeah. Over 20,000? Oh, uh, yeah. Holy <laughs> Did you get over $50,000 for that commercial? No, that was it. Have you invested your money? No. Not good. You're young. You'll make more. Who put the video online? I put it on my website, uh -huh. and then someone saw it on there and put it on YouTube. How often do you go online and read the comments people posted under your video? I, I think I stopped after they started talking about Rail and my sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always a tough one to handle. Do you, uh, do you tell people immediately? That th no, that's... I usually don't tell people at all. Really? Yeah. I wonder if you could actually get laid off of a reaction you had when you were seven years old. That'd be tight. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be incredible. Okay, our original web redemption idea was to have you calm down. Huh? You know, just receive a gift like a normal human, say thank you. But our, our, our goal now is, is just to teach you the true meaning of Christmas and that it's better to give than receive. Uh, but first, we are gonna break for lunch. Oh, Ooh, and this is... Thank you, Rachel. What did I get? It's a turkey sandwich! Ah! It's a turkey sandwich! Yes! 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 Hey, buddy. Hey. My friend Brandon has something for you. Here, I got ah, you, so you stink. something. Sorry. Look! What the fuck am I gonna do with this? You can sell it for crack. Sell Let's it? Let's be yeah. quite honest. Let's get out of here, Brandon. Oh. That felt good. Of course it felt good. Come over here. We've had a great day. You've learned some perspective. You learned the value of giving and not receiving. So as a show, we went out and got you a gift from Tosh.0 to you. You excited? I'm really excited. I don't know what to expect. OK, the world wants to know. Are you ready to give it another shot? Yes. All right, let's open up your gift. Oh my 
god! You're like Oprah! This is awesome! How'd we do? You, you did a great job. Receive a gift like a normal human. Say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you. It's a pretty big letdown, I'll admit. Uh, Yeah, this is real life. Stay in your seat. <laughs> is this going to be forever? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good. It's never good when the dentist does this. <laughs> All right, kid, open up. What was wrong with your teeth? I had one in my gums, and they had to take it out because it was going up to my nose, towards my nose. You wouldn't want a tooth out of your nose? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I would have to eat with my nose. Who, who posted the video online? I did. And how fast uh, before it became very popular? The Tuesday, a few days after we posted it, we had three million views. It's crazy. <laughs> If only I could figure a way to get popular in three days. Do you think you'll film him getting high as a teenager? I better not have to. But if you did, it might be a pretty good check coming your way. Why do you think the video became so popular? Because I'm handsome. Because you're handsome. That's why? Did parents get mad at you? Was there any negative feedback? A reporter for the Chicago Sun-Times, she just wrote a scathing editorial and just Break me over the coals. Well, at least nobody reads newspapers anymore. <laughs> what do you think of the fact that people said that you were exploiting David? We haven't done anything in this whole situation that David hasn't been comfortable with. So I don't agree with the premise that there was anything bad to begin with. When you get older, do you think you'll tell girls that you're David after Dennis? No? Why not? I'll get slapped in the face. No, you won't. Trust me, you gotta, you gotta do whatever you can do to get in the front door. I have my reel running on a loop at my house. Oh, look at that. That was me on Letterman in 2001. You think we should give your dad some gas? Here, relax for a little bit. Put that on for, I don't know, three or four minutes. Go to sleep. All right, David, your dad embarrassed you online. Now it's time for his payback. The world wants to know, are you ready to give another shot? Yes. Yes? Here you go. <laughs> All right, hey, let me give you a marker. Watch this. I feel funny. I feel funny. Is this real life? Is this real life? Is this going to be forever? Gas is gonna wear off in about an hour. We gotta get going before he wakes up. Yes! All right. Come on, David, help me. Let's get him in the balloon. Oh, this is gonna be great. We are gonna sell so many t-shirts. Bye, Dad. Bye. Oh, he's coming back down. Oh, now he's going up. Oh, watch her go. I'm gonna miss him. He was like a real father to me, too. Christian Summers thinks playing video games is fun. According to a school bus driver, he also thinks passing gas is fun. It was an accident. We laugh when it happens. Christian now fears his flatulence. If he's caught passing gas on the bus again, he could get detention. Depends on how much more gas he has. Have a seat, Christian. Oh, oh that's rich. Give me that. Why are you so gassy? I don't know. Can you speak up? I can't hear you over the... I don't know. One more time. I don't know. It really does still make me laugh. I don't care how old you get. That's just good fun. Tell me, in your own words, Christian, what happened that day? One of those far days on the bus. How did people react when you farted on the bus? They started laughing. Did they point at you and say he did it? Mm-hmm. How old was the bus driver? 
43. A woman or man? Woman. Women don't appreciate farts. They never will. Did the kids at school make fun of you after this? Fart boy. They call you fart boy? That's not a bad nickname. Do you like it or no? I thought it was pretty funny. I kind of like it too. Fart boy. Maybe one day you'll grow into fart man. Yep. Then fart grandpa. Did you just fart? No. I think you did. Possibly. I moved the uh, leg. Well, that... make, make your leg make that noise again. Oh, it's weird how it doesn't work now. Explain to me what your fart smelt like that day. I don't know. Have you ever crapped your pants? No. Three times as an adult, I've crapped my pants. You like to smell your own farts. You ever try to light your fart? Do you only fart on public transportation? Are you a wet or dry dealer? I get stains in my underwear, I'll be honest with you. Since this incident, have you started doing Kegel exercises? Would you consider chili a cereal? Did you see the movie Three O'Clock High? No. All right, you know this is very serious. That's why I called your father down here. Are you nervous about that? No. That's the problem with these kids today. Send in Mr. Summer. Now! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go right ahead. What's your fart policy in the household? We're guys. We do it. Would you say your son is a chip off the old butt? Absolutely. Were you surprised at how uh, popular the video became? In a way, yes I was. What is Emily Valdez up to? She seems like quite a number. Yeah, she is pretty hot. Was she pretty in person? Crooked eye. She had a crooked eye. <laughs> Ooh, I'll be honest with you, that's all I needed to hear. Complete deal breaker. That's the first thing he noticed. That's what you need in a wingman. <laughs> you need somebody like that. Yeah, exactly. All right, all this fart talk has got me hungry. Sometimes I like to take a student off campus just to get to know them on a more personal level. Let's make a run for the border. Do I have to? Yes. I'm telling you, get in there on the beans. This is thinking outside the bun. This is a solid fourth meal. Mm. You slowing down? No. I like to eat heavy, and then I'm good to go. All right, this might not have been the best meal, but we don't want to miss the bus. You want to get a breeder to go? Make it to. Yeah, short bus. I don't like to be behind you. All right, the world wants to know. You ready to give another shot? Yes, I am. Room for you. How come every time I come on the bus, you on the bus with that little rat? Look at this filthy ass dog. Ooh. Oh, God. You smell like a buffalo. What you feeding that stinking dog? You smell like buttermilk and sardines. You're supposed to be pooting. A woman's supposed to poot, not fart. Don't nobody come in the fart section for the next 35 or 45 minutes. Get to the back of the bus. No, I will not. I have a dream that someday people will not be judged by the smell of their farts, but by the content of their colon. Preach! I have a dream that one day he who smelt it won't be afraid that he also dealt it. I have a dream that when we let fart ring, we will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old farting spiritual. Far at last, far at last, thank God almighty we shall far at last. <laughs> myself. Alright, this is called <laughs> Us Jugglers. Alright, check it. Here's the beat. <laughs> Us Jugglers can take anybody, so... If you disagree, I'll leave you burning in the third degree. Us wicked clowns will never go down, not even in your town. We won't be sleeping, only creeping, and I'm not stepping on. I'm only repping. The hatchet, can you catch it? If you can, you pass the test. The strugglers are the best. The rest, don't with me, I'll f you up.
Which one of you clowns is Anthony? Here. Hey, buddy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> All right, get in. Let's get you out of this clown makeup. You look like a serial killer. You clean up well. We did our best to make you feel at home here. It's kind of sick. Anthony, first things first, how old are you? 14. Are you bigger than most, most people 14 years old? Yeah. When I was 14 years old, I was tiny. I was also a girl. You know, we all go through those phases. Did you ever dress in women's clothing? No. Hmm. All right. Maybe we didn't all go through those. What does ICP stand for? Insane Clown Posse. How would you describe their music? One of the best. I don't know why I found that funny, but it just seems it seems sincere. Why do you think your videos became so popular? Jugglers and jugglets support me. See, when I saw the video, the first thing that struck me was how young you were because you look like a tank. And then you have a young person's voice. Us jugglers can take anybody. So that shocked me. I was like, holy cow, look at this monster. And he talks like a beautiful little angel. <laughs> do you enjoy rapping? Yes, I do. Do you write your own raps? Are they written? Do you have some ghostwriters? Yeah, I write them. Some of my freestyle. How's your flow? Do you think your flow's pretty good? Well, I've been trying to work on it lately. We won't be sleeping, only creeping, and I'm not stepping on. I'm only repping. You know what the best thing to do? What? Well, I, I assume would be to do well in school, just because you could maybe increase your vocabulary, then rhyme a few more words with hatchet. Catch it, latch it. See that you only have two, that's gonna limit you. Do you ever fix that smoke detector in your room? No. Do you know how many kids every year burn to death because of a faulty smoke detector? No. Well, neither do I. The problem is nobody has a nine volt battery lying around. I don't know why the fuck smoke detectors take nine volts. Put double A's in there, save a lot of lives. But no, you gotta keep the nine volt company in business. You ever take your tongue and put it on the end of a nine volt? No. Somebody give me a fresh nine volt. You just take your tongue and just put, put, put it on the end of it. Ah, it's weird. It's like kissing a girl. For you, maybe. For me, yeah. <laughs> what does it take to be a juggalo? You gotta have guts and do what we do. And what is do it? Do what we do. Be yourself, mostly. By be yourself, though, you mean cover, paint your face. Whatever you want to do. Are there any black juggalos? All races. Have you ever been to the gathering of the juggalos? No, I was thinking of going this year. Where is it? Illinois. Illinois. Both of them. Your video is very entertaining, but it lacks a certain je ne sais quoi. Say what? What I'd like to do is give you an opportunity to spruce up your video a bit. All right. The world wants to know, you ready to give her a shot? Yeah. Tonight's redemption is from the pink pop version of the mighty Death Tosh. It's full of that sick ass Daniel Tosh flavor that you psychopaths crave. So sit your floppy tits down and enjoy this dope mother this called us jugglers. All right, check. Here's the beat. Us jugglers can't take anybody. F you if you disagree. I'll leave you burning in the third degree. The hatch can you catch if you can you pass the test? Us jugglers are the best. F the rest don't f with me. I f you up. Come on. All this fame, I just want you in flames It's hell's pit, only gonna take one hit Not sit unless you wanna get bit by the devil And yes, he's a rebel and you're just a pebble A juggalos, or straight rape and murder pros No, I'll deck it in and burn that bitch's clothes Well, ass f America, curb stop Mickey Mouse Hijack a jumbo jet and land it on the White House Slow your roll, dude, I'm starting to get pissed Can't make it to the gathering, I'm the no-fly list Yeah, that's right this psycho's not with us, he's a little too insane and I ain't touring on a f***ing bus Stack the bodies, call the grave diggers, I have to take no s***, I'm hardcore Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Pump your brakes, Anthony. There's a fine line between being insane and lacking common decency. Yeah, I mean, being a juggalo, you know, comes with a certain level of decorum. This ninja's a little too insane. Whoa, hey, don't even think about it, man. Oh, it's weird how the threat of violence makes you regain your balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more like the insane frown posse. Anthony! Oh, oh it's hot! Well, that's because the pie store was closed. I had to put whipped cream on a quiche. 
<laughs> Cry. Latarian Milton is not your typical seven-year-old. Few his age have ever driven an SUV up and down several busy streets. Latarian drove several miles through Lake Park in Palm Beach Garden. Along the way, he ran over two mailboxes, hit two parked cars in a Costco parking lot, and struck two moving cars near Walmart. Latarian hit the curb and sideswiped the sign. The SUV took most of the beating, snapping off one of his axles and wheels. It's fun to do bad things, drive into a car. But did you know that you could perhaps kill somebody? Yes, but I wanted to do horror stuff for my friends. If I thought they wouldn't take me to jail, I'd whip his behind right now. Yo, Latarian. What's up, bro? What's up? How are you? Have a Good. seat. Why did you take your grandma's car? Because I got mad at my mom. She wouldn't let me let my friends come in the house. So where were you going to take, where were you driving to? Um, I was going to Walmart, and then when the police got behind me, I was going home. You think your grandma will ever let you borrow her car again? No. I crashed my mom's car once. Did she say she was going to kill you? No, she didn't say she was going to kill me, but she did hit me. <laughs> Do you think that this was kind of your grandma's fault? I love it. She should have kept her keys in her purse. She should have kept her keys in her purse. Don't you think you should just uh, not take her car? No. Nope. Well, you're not that young. You should know better. I was seven. Oh, all right. Well, then hold on. Now, let me... What's the nicest thing you've ever done? Gave her a present. Gave who a present? My grandma. What did you get her? A, a new front axle? <laughs> was that the first time you ever drove a car? Yes. If you were to rate it on a scale of one to 10, what would you say? Cool. Cool? All right. When this video came out and got on the internet, did anybody tease you because of the video? Yes, some kids at my school. I don't, they're probably just jealous. Just because I'm going to Hollywood. You're in Hollywood. Yeah. What do you want to be when you get older? Fireman. It's not a bad profession. What do you want to be when you grow up? It's a better question. Uh, I don't know. Who's your favorite comedian? I don't know his name, but he's some dude and he has his little puppet in his hand. Jeff Dunham? Yes. yes That's that your favorite puppet. comedian? Yes. Now, in your video, you said it's fun to do bad things. Is it still fun to do bad things? Yes. Do you think you could show me some hood rat stuff? Yes. Nice. All right, so we just open it up and then we play in it? Yeah, that's all we do. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Oh. You want to see Avatar 2? It's in 4D, only five bucks. Or three for 20. I'm just going to loosen it. Why did we do this again? I don't know. All right. <laughs> Looks good. You know, I don't want to get wet. I don't want to get wet anyway. I don't want to get wet. <laughs> Thanks, Atarian, for teaching me all that hood rat stuff. You're welcome. But it's time for you to grow up. You need to accept a little more responsibility. The world wants to know, are you ready to give another shot? Yeah, I was born ready. Let's go talk to Granny. <laughs> Grandma? Yes? Latarian has something he'd like to ask you. Grandma, please borrow your car. No, you may not borrow my car. Why can't you be a better example? All right. Come on, Latarian, don't worry. I know a better place to get cars. The Comedy Central offices. You sure my pants are low enough? Yes. All right, welcome to Comedy Central. The president owns those two cars. Which one do you want? Since I'm not a 40-year-old having a midlife crisis, you can take the Corvette. All right, playboy. You know how to hotwire a car? Yes. I knew you would. Gangsters first. <laughs> 